Seagoing vessels passing through the Gulf of Aden are an easy target for Somali pirates. The presence of foreign navy ships is currently not deterring the pirates. A company based in Rotterdam claims to have the solution. An extremely hot shower. It is not only the 80 degrees water, but also that all is wet and slippery. Further, it doesn't look like an attractive target. The pirates will look for an easier prey. Any initiative to help protect our crews is very welcome. Somalia, 3,000 kilometers of shoreline, 20,000 ships passing each year, and no central government. So, long live the piracy. As you can see, the stern is fairly high, but they use a ladder with hooks, you know, and before you know it, they are on board. It is no issue for them at all to come aboard. And what happens when they are on board? If they get on board, then you have no chance, then you have to cooperate with them, because then you are seriously endangering your crew, which must absolutely never happen. If they are on board, it is over. The company from Rotterdam, Secure Marine, suggests it has found a solution. A pipe system surrounding the ship, which sprays out seawater at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. The water is heated by the exhaust heat of the ship. At this location, you already can feel the heat of the water. You have to be reasonably stupid to climb higher, as this may cause burning injuries when you reach the top. So in principle, the pirates are warned not to proceed. Since January 2009, five pirates are held in Dutch detention for trying to hijack the Antilles ship, the Samanjolo. We prefer help from the authorities, the Navy, but if not available, we certainly embrace this solution. No choice. In a previous report, the crew of the trawler Pompeii tells how it is to be hijacked, and that is hell. Hell. They accused me of bewitching the radar. They almost shot me down. It was that bad. And this happened several times. It was one big mess on board the ship. They were excrementing all over, except on the toilets. During the total period, approximately 40 to 45 goats were slaughtered on board. The goat meat was then dragged over the ship and stored in fridges. You can imagine, this became a bloody mess. Parts of unused goats lay at various parts of the ship. Jumbo shipping transports large and heavy cargo over the whole world, such as this part of a drilling platform. Nick Sinnege has once been hijacked in India, which ended peacefully. But he wants to make 100% sure his crew will not endure this in Somalia. 25 times per year, one of his ships passes this dangerous area. We are totally reliant on the military, the navies that operate there. And it has been proven this is not sufficient. It has been reasonably quiet for several months, mainly due to the strong southwest monsoon. For their skiffs, the conditions are then too harsh due to the high sea and wind. But this monsoon is due to end soon, and we expect the piracy season to start again. Even though there is an armada of EU, Russian, and Chinese navy ships, the Somali pirates keep on trying. Good reason for jumbo shipping to proceed with testing this system. According to Secure Marine, there's a lot of interest in the system. We are already many years active in this area. In 2001, we already used our shockwire systems against piracy, which we are still using. This issue is already going on for a long time, but it has become more serious. Further, because the pirates see the success of their actions and that easy big money is to be made, this phenomena will be exported to other areas. You will get a copycat effect, which will increase the problem. The system, of course, still needs to be tested operationally, but if successful, we would like to proceed. Something has to be done.